Okay, next, what we're going to do is take the power wheel and take it from that static inclined plane hold that we just did into movement. And Jesse's going to show some of the basic exercise that we love to do with the power wheel. When people have gotten the base down of holding it, next is maybe a simple exercise of knees to elbows. So she's just going to roll the wheel in, basically keep her back as flat as possible, and bring those knees all the way in till they touch the elbows. You can do it off at angles too, so maybe her right knee would touch her left elbow, and then vice versa. So this gets a little bit of a spinal twist to it. Next one we're going to do is what we call a pike up. Now, she wants to roll the wheel in as far as possible while lifting her hips up to the sky as high as possible. When she does that, that's great range. You're going to also bring your head back completely to that inclined position. A lot of times when people do this, they'll keep their head down. Alignment is key on all of these exercises. As you can see with her head down, she has that roundness of her back here. So we want to lift the head as she's coming out of it, lift the head. So we're engaged here, so we build strength. The core is not just the belly. The core is the whole body's alignment and how it is all integrated together. Relax for a second. This is a big point. Most people think of just working the core and that's this little area right here. What we really try and stress is, yes, we're going to get that area because it is so important for all movements to have the ability to become rigid and react really strong in this midsection of your body. But that whole reaction doesn't just happen here. It happens from when your foot touches the ground to the moment your hand maybe throws a ball or throws a punch or hits a baseball or something like that. That whole body connection comes through strong alignment and the ability to stabilize quickly. The power wheel does that like nothing else, but keeping that alignment really, um, being really aware with your alignment makes a huge difference. Whether you're doing push-ups or you're preparing for a sports activity, focus on the alignment of it and then let's get you in an unstable environment which creates more stability so that whenever you do whatever activity it is, you're more prepared. So what Jesse just did, Knees to elbow, it's a great exercise. Next one is a pike up. Those are perfect for staying in more of a stationary position, but we're creating some movement. The next one that we want to do is crawling. So Jesse's just going to crawl a little bit forward and then a little bit backwards, and then we're going to do some left-right crawling as well. So we're going to start out in that inclined plane position again. Fingers are forward. And Jessie's just going to crawl forward a little bit. While she's doing this, we want everything to stay rigid. Okay, stop. Now go backwards. Stop right there for a second, Jessie. Now, show them what happens when people crawl when they're loose. If you're loose in all these different areas, they'll crawl basically like a walrus. See the collapse in the neck? See the locking out of the arms and the collapse in the lower back? Let's stop there. I'm not a big fan of having Jessie kill herself by doing the exercise incorrectly. So... You see what's incorrect on that exercise and see how many collapses you can get. Stay engaged, do the exercise shorter range then, but do it right. And then you can progress it much stronger down the long run. So keep the hands straight ahead, keep the body engaged and nice and taut. I like to think of basically you're like a, a board. Keep that body rigid. That's what helps us react to situations quicker. The quicker you can react, the better your performance. So that is a basic crawl forward and backwards. Next, Jessie's going to do the same thing. She's going to crawl to her left. While she does this, you want to keep the wheel in the same exact place the whole time. Now crawl to your right. She's making this look really easy, but it's a very hard exercise. Crawling forward, crawling backwards, crawling to your left, crawling to your right, all put you in different planes of instability, thus gaining more stability for you. So that's some of the more basic exercises. Next, I'm going to show you some of the more advanced exercises using the power wheel on your feet in the prone position. Okay, now.